In this video, I'm gonna show you some short and medium range combat bow staff combinations. Grab your staff and follow me. Once you finish your warm up spins, grab your staff like you're gonna do a push up first. I'm gonna show you these combinations, high block, low block. Think of these as medium range. I turn to the side, I push up, I push down. Every time you do it, just like an open hand form or open hand fighting, you should have nice full range of motion, build power along the range. And if it's for a demonstration or if it's a competition, someone's watching, you need to show the judge and the audience this full range of motion that allows their brain to get a good picture and understand what you're doing subconsciously and it looks better. You have to make it look, this is called aesthetics. If you go to a competition, you have to have good aesthetics. It's gotta look pretty. When it looks pretty, it's also correct. From here, it goes up into the chest and down. Just practice this one first. Think about this. From this position, think about a jabbing strike. Now this seems long, but it's not really as long as this kind of a strike or this kind of a strike, a strike where you're holding the end of the staff. In my mind, this is a longer distance technique. If we go back to this position, holding like push-ups, you have this strike and you have a quick strike behind you. Now this strike is also done in the alternating hand position. You have this fast to the front, fast to the back, and then you're bringing it almost like a punch across the chin. You can work that in combination. One, two, three, four. These are all mid-range. That means you're closer to your opponent. And again, not that far out. Now let's go back to that high block, low block, pull, strike, pull back here, strike, over the top, over the top. These are all done in combination. So you can go high, go low. Now you're gonna bring it down in this turning motion. Now we're getting into the closer range. From here, my hands are gonna spin, spin, spin until I'm chambered and one hand is on the shoulder, the other one's up deep in the armpit and then just like you're doing a low block, full extension, not letting go of your staff, not changing hands, straight down, bring it back in. Remember high block, low block, twisting the other way. Now the other hand is on the shoulder, the other arm or hand is up in that armpit Low block, low block. And let me show you, let me give you a little bit of an angle so you can see how close to the body this is. This is pretty short range. Someone's got a weapon, especially a staff or a sword. I really don't want them this close, but if I have no other choice, I'm gonna knock it out of the way. Now when you do this, think of full range turning, get tight, nice tight chamber, pull down, but then also hips, Shoulders, twisting martial arts, spiraling, correct technique. So from here, turning, turning, twist your hips out. Make sure that you block, but also push a little bit to clear. Aesthetically, the way it looks, there's just a little bit of a hip. A good judge, if you're at a tournament, is gonna pick up on that twist of the hip. From here, bring it back in, twist, twist. Now this is a low block blocking the knee, blocking the lower part of your body, and you can bring it in from one, two, three, four, and high block into a punching strike. Now it looks far, and again, you can think of this as, it's not as far if I'm here, this, in my mind, look how, long, how far away I am, I can do my strike this way. Aesthetically, it's gonna look good if you have contrast between long and short, and I know that's what you wanted. You want some contrast to make it look like you understand what you're doing, which means that you do understand what you're doing. Go back to this position, bring it in, get the high, we've got the low, we've got the low block on each side, and then I wanna bring it into that shoulder, and I wanna turn, I'm striking here. If I can take a step and turn, turn, Mid-range, not too far apart. It's exactly the same as this, but instead of down, I'm keeping it in line with my shoulders. 
Think about maybe striking their chin, knocking a weapon out of their hand, turning your whole body into it. A lot of power, I'll let you see from the side. You move quickly here, bring it back in, high block, low block, block down one side, block down the other side, strike one side, strike the other side, pushing, striking down on top, striking back, striking back, and now without ever letting go of that push-up position, hand same position, clearing in front of the body. Now when you clear, the judge who understands what they're talking about, or understands what they're looking at, wants to see you clear. That means if you bring it here and here, you didn't really clear anything. The strike's coming right in. If someone's trying to hit you, they're not gonna hit you over here. You know that. They're coming right through the middle. Make sure that the hand that's blocking up here is higher than your head. See that? This hand is lower. Let the stick do the work. Block their staff from here. You've gotta turn it on this side before, think of a shield, before you shield your body. Blocking here, blocking here. From the beginning we had high, low, low block, low block, middle strike, middle strike, clear here, clear here, coming down on top, down on top, striking forward, striking back. Now that's just some of the ideas. You also can from here change your grip. If you do change your grip in combat fighting, whether you're sparring with somebody else or you're doing this for self-defense or if you wanna demonstrate or go to a competition and compete, don't take your hand off and stick it back on. That's bad form. That's loss of control. Show understanding by switching like this. See how my hand never loses the grip, practice that on both sides. So now, from this position, I have my blocking here, and my striking, and my clearing, my downward strikes, my spearing strikes to the front, my spearing strikes to the back or to the side. Make sure you look where you're going if you're going to the side, and then switch positions. Go into hard strikes, coming down, coming across, Striking in here, coming down here, here, here. This is that figure four thing. All those guys are doing, I don't like the figure four myself. Mostly because the way everybody's doing it, they're doing it like some goofy thing like this. They do that with the toothpick staff. It's super lightweight and would break if anything hit it. And it's just in proper form. Especially when you do it like up in your elbow here. It's not supposed to be like that. It's a, it's a downer strike, boom. Boom, it can come here, but it's tight in the elbow. So from here, practice switching your grip. Now go for a downward strike, strike across, pushing in, striking down in this position. And I'm gonna show you one more up close. One of my favorites that you're really gonna like is this sweeping motion. From here, you did the blocks just up and down. And then you did the turning blocks and the turning strikes, that same motion. A little bit more turn in the hip, and then you're coming down here. You know about striking in. You know about striking behind you. And now watch this. I'm going to turn that grip. And I'm going to do a downward strike and a strike here and a stabbing motion down. And I'm going to come down over your head. And then I want you to finish like this. This is really cool. You're going to take the tip of this staff. He's right here. He's in front of you. You're going to snap him up. Think about a stirring motion. This back hand isn't moving much, that arm's not gonna move, just the wrist. The front hand makes either a small circle or a little bit larger or a little bit larger. If I'm back here, far away from me, I'm in a big circular motion. So it looks kinda cool, big, big motions when it's long or cool. When I'm in the middle and I just switch to here, I did all those strikes, I go down here, and I snap up. It's all about this and this when you get to the competition. 
intensity in your face. This is true for self-defense, by the way. Don't go into it looking get intense. People are watching you. They want to see something. They want to see that you understand what you're doing, but you also have a passion for it. So get it in your face. It's self-defense. No one's going to mess with you. If it looks like you understand what you're doing and you believe in what you're doing. So get it in your face. Get it in here. Intensity, focus, enthusiasm. Strike. Practice the stirring motion. Either picturing snapping their foot out from under them, knocking them on the floor. They grab the end of your staff, flip them. I hope that gives you some ideas. If it didn't, let me know in the comment section below. If it did, let me know in the comment section below. And if you put this together in a form, or if you use this in combat fighting and a competition for sparring or self-defense, let me know in the comment section below how it came out. And if you happen to videotape it, put it on YouTube and share it with me in the comment section below. I'll see you on the next one.